So now that we have our unit and our map, let's create a script. Let's actually create a folder first and let's create a controller. Now we're going to have I'm going to create a base script that will be shared across enemies and players, of course, and then we're going to make this work. So I'm going to add a name first. This will be the base. Now I want to actually control when this updates, so I'm just going to say tick and I'm going to be passing delta. On start, however, we're going to need the navmes agent to add it. So we need to include the namespace uh, unityagent.ai and on start. It's a little bit too much zoomed in. So now it's agent, 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 just to get component, navmes. We probably need an animator. We don't have the animator yet, but let's just include it. And let's do get component animator. Now on our tick, just the delta, of course, it's not that important. And so we're just going to do tick move or movement. And we want to pass the direction we're going to be moving to. And how do we move? We simply say agent dot velocity equals direction. And maybe we multiply that by delta. Okay, keep that on the maybe. So for now, that's all we need to be moving as a unit. But we, of course, need to add some input. So let's create a new redo config. Let's create a new folder and let's call it managers. And I'm going to call my create a new item behavior and I'm going to rename this into input handler and not input manager because there is already an input manager and there's yeah things tend to break sometimes in the past so this now this would be responsible for getting uh, our input of course right now I'm just going to hard code some stuff we're going to be using the new input system later but for now, just going to, you know, just write it dirty. Just use what we already have. Get access, horizontal, and vertical. Because this is 2D and we're never going to be rotating, we know that up, yeah, we know we're always going to be world up. And the camera will always be relative to world up, so we can just do target direction. Let's start at zero and target direction dot x equals h and target direction dot z now because we are flat on the ground and we're not up like normal, uh, you know, 2D games. Okay, we could just say unit controller dot tick movement we need to pass the delta time of course and we need to pass our target direction for right now i'm actually going to remove the delta part because i want to see and i want to just be moving with the direction i'm getting if that is too fast then i'm going to assign the delta but because it's actually applied as velocity and velocity is applied over frames and yeah not just right away this will work and of course for that to work why the collaborate button is giving us an error but it's a new bug whatever uh, yeah we need to fix this so let's assign the unit controller let's put it first and let's assign the input handler. Let's put it. We 
can actually just uh, share this around whatever right now this will work and uh, let's add an animator here as well just for the script to have something okay the other subject what is this yeah just from the yeah whatever doesn't matter not a problem okay you'll see that it's actually working and it's moving fine but it rotates the reason it rotates is because we need to set up our agent to not update rotation and yeah i think that's a, that's that's it to be honest That's going to be annoying very fast. Those errors, this error is from Unity, unfortunately. As you can see, it's here. Okay, so we can see that we can actually walk around. and we are bound to the level and that's how far we move okay so that's actually perfect and i think if we change the radius to 0.1 for example yeah we are locked we can actually walk right to the edges so that's pretty yeah that's cool So we can increase a little bit our radius but i think what we had it before was just fine so okay we can move right now with this so uh, direction works as fine as well the other thing i want to actually change is to just remove the acceleration and speed right now doesn't do anything doesn't change our Actually, let's say acceleration is 99. Yeah, so even if I make this at zero, I'll still be able to move. And if I make this to something super high, still, I'll still be able to move because it doesn't really affect because we are writing our velocity. Okay, so here's that. Now there is some sliding, a little bit of sliding going around, but for the most part it's pretty responsive. Uh, the sliding actually happens because we yeah, because these are smoothing. So there is actually movement that is happening over here. So in this case, what we can do, we could just clamp this that say if h uh, is higher than 0.5 h will be 1 if h is lower than minus 0.5 h will be minus okay so this will clamp them or clamp them it will fix them so mm, but yeah you know what doesn't really matter it's not something that we should worry about anyway so that's one thing and let's add an enemy as well just to see how that is going to work okay let's go and split up a new sprite but one of them one of this is an enemy yeah this this looks like a bad guy so let's set this to apply i'm actually just going to select the text we need to set it here I'm going to click multiply apply and let's just do an automatic you'll see that everything that has thing in it we're actually going to have it inside the stage as well so that also needs fixing but for right now for what we need right now it's fine so let's just add this guy and you can see oh yeah we forgot to set this up have the center to have the pivot at the bottom 
So let's slice it again and let's say bottom. So you can see that for the most part this is fine. Now, there's the unit controller. Let's call this unit controller. Dummy. And let's remove the input handler and let's call this new script. Let's call it AI controller or AI manager, AI handler. Doesn't matter. Okay, so namespace. All right, now we just need to know what unit controller we are controlling, of course. And we actually need to have access to the agent. So we can make this public now. And we also need to know where we want to go. So I'm just going to say as target. target. So if target is not just return, then if else unit controller agent dot set destination target dot position and for this one I actually don't need to do a tick at all because the agent handles all that okay so let's go and test it I'm going to force this guy to be rotated just mirrored actually rotated and let's do AI handler Put it above let's drag and drop this and for target i'm going to assign my player now this guy however is going to move with the speed we have on the agent because we're just using the agent so let's hit play and let's see error okay target Let's see what we got. This select one. Yeah, you can see that he has the agent, but Oh, yeah, he has zero acceleration. Okay, we can see that he's actually working, he's chasing us. Of course, we don't want to be moving like that. Uh, that fast, please. So, probably he can just go to 21, or maybe a little bit high. But there's another way, there's another trick that we can use and we're actually going to let the animations decide how fast something can move. But you can see that now I'm basically able to move around. So the other problem that you see is that when I go above him, I'm actually on top of him instead of being below him, uh, behind him. So that's something else we need to be okay. So let's fix that now. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call utility. Now there is another way to fix this actually, and that would be to go on to project settings into I think it's graphics here, yeah, and you can set up the transparency sort axis. Okay. For me this actually never works or I don't know how to make it work uh, completely, but I have a workaround. So I'm going to create a new script, which I'm going to call dynamic sort order. It's a fairly simple script. Okay. Which basically all it's going to be doing is on update, 
we need of course sprite renderer and we also need a transform for let's say origin now we're going to check for our position vector 3 position equals transfer dot position if i have assigned a new origin so if origin is not null then that position i want to check is the position of that origin okay then i'm going to take my order and i'm going to actually uh, math f round to integer my position dot y okay i'm going to multiply that by 10 however so there is a little bit of uh, there is a little bit of uh, changes in position of that of my order so uh, let's see why we actually want the z not the y in this case because we're flat on the ground and not in horizontal and uh, not in vertical okay so short order we're going to get our sprite renderer and our order will be the short order so however we're actually going to negate this so the more we are on the short order the more the higher we are on the screen the lower sort order we're going to get and the lower we are the higher the sort order we get so right now all i have to do is add this inside we'll just cook this dynamic sort order let's do a sprite render let's just leave it at without an origin right now i'm just going to assign the sprite render and let's do the same thing for this guy assign the sprite render. with the origin you can actually pin, pick, pinpoint where there is yeah where we are actually changing because you can see that this is yeah okay whatever let's just use this right now but this is very useful if you're going to be adding props stuff like that later okay so let's move around him let's go you can see i can go below him i can go in front of him and i can actually push him which is something we need first okay you can see that this works as you would expect let's see how we are on time okay we are in in 20 minutes but yeah this is pretty nice so this works as expected let's end this part over here we've covered moving and actually dynamic uh, sorting our orders or our sprites for example let's see one more example i think we have slide for this column over there and let's see i think this is it yeah, that's the one I'll also show you how you can make this admin the level. Mm. Yeah, okay. I don't see the, the prop for this, but whatever. Then let's just uh, leave it at that. Yeah, okay. Just leave it at that. Okay. So let's end this part. And on the next one, we have to actually start uh, cleaning up our animation. And that will happen on Photoshop. So, you know, or any other software you want, you can do it. So, let's end this part over here. You know, as always, support the channel, uh, comment, um, you know, do the Patreon thing, all that, so we can keep making. I'll see you on the next one.